love to travel and save money? Or do you wish you could travel but money is holding you back? You're in the right place. Welcome to the Families Fly Free Podcast, where I show you how to fly your family free forever using my simple fly free formula. I'm your host, Lynn Mettler. My family of four has mastered the art of flying free as simply as possible since 2015, and I want to show your family how to do it too. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Family's Fly Free Podcast. I am your host, Lynn Mettler. I hope your fall is off to a great start. I'm recording this right as we are rolling into the official start of the fall season, which is my favorite season of the year here in Indiana. We get beautiful colors as the leaves change. Um, We've had a couple days with just that cool crispness in the air. Um, And I'm just looking forward to more football, more sweatshirts. I got my fall candles out and soon we'll be getting out all of our Halloween decor, which is so much fun. Before we start in today's topic, I wanted to let you know about a couple of things coming up inside the membership in case you're interested in joining before we get started with these. So today I'm going to be talking about how to earn the Southwest Companion Pass for 2023 and 2024. And I'm going to just give you a broad overview of that today, but I'm going to be teaching that in depth, step by step inside the Families Fly Free membership on October 11th. So that will be for members only. We have all kinds of regular live webinars in there. Um, And this is just one of many examples where I'm going to be walking people step by step through the timing of this and answering any questions that members have as we go through. Um, And that will be in the evening. And then we also, I'm going to be teaching the first of my monthly six-month class on how to do Disney free. And so we're going to start that first one on October 4th in the evening, um, members only. And this is going to be a class that you want to join at the beginning because it's going to be a six-month class. And we're going to do everything from how to fly free to how to stay free to how to save on theme park tickets, um, everything when it comes to saving and doing as many things free as we can at Disney. So if that's on your list or you love Disney and you like to go every year and you would like to spend a lot less, this would be a great class for you to join. All of our classes inside the membership are recorded. um, So you would have access to them if you can't make it live, but if you can come live, then you can get your questions answered. So that's a great benefit. Um, So be sure you join the membership before those dates if you want to participate in those live classes. So today we're going to talk about how to earn your Southwest Companion Pass for 2023 and 2024. And let's start with a quick review for those of you who are new to me or new to travel rewards about what the Southwest Companion Pass is exactly. So the Southwest Companion Pass, I believe, is the best deal going in travel. And what it allows you to do is to bring one person with you on every flight that you take on Southwest, anywhere they go, for the life of that pass. So um, the pass, we're going to show you how to make it good for two years today. We're going to talk about that, almost two full years. So um, throughout those two full years, as many flights as you want to take, you can add someone as your companion. And the only thing they pay are taxes and fees, which is that government mandatory fee, $5.60 per person per way. There's no getting around that. We can't get rid of that. But the airfare portion is entirely free. That companion pays no points and they pay no dollars to get on that flight with you. Now they do have to be on the same flight that you're on. I've heard that question a couple times here lately. Um, You have to add them to a ticket that you're already taking. Now to earn that pass, you have to collect 125,000 Southwest points, qualifying points. So not every point that you earn with Southwest qualifies for the companion pass. So you have to earn 125,000 in one calendar year. And that's going to be very important in what we're talking about today. So that means between January 1st and December 31st, I have to have accumulated a total of 125,000 qualifying points in order to earn my pass. If I have 124,000, I did not earn it. And I start over with zero qualifying 
qualifying points the next year. Um, so you want to make sure you get all those points in in the time frame that um, you're looking for to, to earn this pass. So that is a brief overview of the companion pass um, and what you need to do to earn it. Now, my favorite way to earn the Southwest Companion Pass is to apply for two Southwest cards, meet the minimum spend on each card, and earn a big bonus of points because their cards always offer a bonus between 40,000 points and up to 80,000 points typically. So if you can get two of those, you can see that pretty quickly you can have accumulated your 125,000 points. However, it's not as simple as that. Um, and so it's important that you understand there's a lot of variables here. So um, Southwest, for example, will only let you hold one personal card. Um, they also have two business cards. You can hold both of those, but there's restrictions on all of this in terms of how often you can earn that bonus. Um, and so you need to understand a lot of factors. That's where coming to my live class will really help you. Um, and being a member of Families Fly Free, we can look at your personal situation and give you a personalized recommendation of exactly who in your family needs to get this pass um, and what exactly they need to do at what time in order to get it. Um, I have a lot of people who join the membership specifically to get the timing right on the companion pass because what we're going to be talking about today is how to get the pass so that it's good as early as possible next year and that you have it all the way through the end of the following year. So when you earn a companion pass, it's always good from the time you earn it until the end of the following year. So if I earn it in January 2023, it's good through December 31st, 2024. And you can see the benefit there. That means I have it for almost two full years. If I wait and earn the pass, let's say next August, I only have the pass from August 2023 to December 31st, 2024, not nearly as long. And I see a lot of people do that. They try to just put their everyday spend on a Southwest card and earn it point by point, dollar by dollar by spending on their Southwest card. They're trying to earn 125,000 points. And that would be almost $125,000 in most cases because the Southwest card generally earns one point per dollar in most categories of spending. And I think you can see it would be very hard for most people to reach $125,000 in spending, even in a year. So um, some people can do it, but it's going to take them the better part of a year to get there. You might even say, oh, but I got the bonus on one card. So maybe I have 40,000, 50,000 points. So I don't have to spend $125,000, but I have to spend, you know, $75,000. That is still a lot of money to spend and it's going to take you time to get there. And again, that's time that you don't have your companion pass. It's so much better if you can get it with two card bonuses and instantly get that pass. Then you'll have it for almost the two full years. And I have a whole podcast all about properly timing your Southwest Companion Pass. So I would recommend you go back and listen to that episode for more details on this. Um, but I'm going to continue to give you an overview of that here. So let's talk about briefly who should get a pass now versus who should wait and get their pass in 2023. If you already have a pass right now, you don't need one right now. So we don't want to accumulate 125,000 points this year. All that's going to do is extend your pass for another year. Because if you earn it this year, 2022, it's going to be good through December 31st, 2023. I would much prefer to see you end up with a pass that's good for all of 2023 and all of 2024. You can see that greatly reduces the amount of work that you have to do, because if you're trying to do this every single year, that's more work. And I'm trying to show you a simple way to do this. And if you can get on our system of getting a companion pass once every two years, then you only have to earn it once every two years. That's much easier, right? Also, if you are not going to be doing any traveling for the rest of this year, and you wouldn't be able to use a companion pass with Southwest this year, you are also a great candidate to get one early next year. The few people who might want to consider going ahead and earning one this year would be someone who is planning to take a trip before year's end. They haven't booked the flight yet. 
they do plan to fly Southwest and the Southwest Companion Pass could save them significantly. So if that is your situation, um, and remember the pass is gonna allow one member of your family or traveling group to fly free. So think about what you would be paying in dollars or even points for that person to fly. And if you had a pass, you're going to save that amount of money or that number of points. And so in my opinion, and you'll hear a lot of people steer everyone towards getting the pass next year, it's, those people should go ahead and get a pass this year because it will save them. And the reason is, if you get on my system and you understand how to always have a companion pass, and that's something we teach inside the Families Fly Free membership, you're going to have a companion pass going forward forever anyway. So you might as well get one now if you can use it. But if you're not going to use one, then let's just wait and put the work and get it early next year. So that's a quick overview of who should get one now versus who should get one next year. Now, if you are in the category of you want to get one next year, we call that a 2023-2024 Southwest Companion Pass you actually can start working on that as early as October. And that's why I'm teaching my live class in early October, because I'm going to show everyone exactly what they need to do from October forward to make sure they have a pass in hand by January, if that's when they want their pass. The trick here is you have to meet the minimum spends on the cards that you choose within three months, because that's always the time frame you have to meet a minimum spend. 99% of the time within three months, but you also have to meet it such that the points end up in your Southwest account in January of 2023. And so this is where things get tricky. And this is why people come to me for help because the timing does get a little hairy here. This is one of the less simple things to do when it comes to earning a companion pass. But if you have someone showing you exactly what step to take at what time, it's not a big deal. And if you have any questions through it, if you're in the membership, we can help you immediately. We can make sure you don't make a mistake um, in messing this up uh, because it, it is tricky. And I've seen people do things like um, they forgot that they put a recurring subscription on their new Southwest card and oops, they went over the minimum spend before they intended and their points credited this year instead of next year. Or I've seen people trying to do the opposite, trying to have their points all credit this year and they returned something after the holidays and it took money off of their card such that it kept them from meeting the minimum spend before year's end. So you've got to be aware of all of these little things. Um, you also need to understand what your close date is. So a close date on a credit card is different than your due date. Your due date is when you have to pay the bank the money that you owe them. The credit, the close date is the date that the bank decides how much you owe them. So that's when they reconcile everything and they say, okay, you owe us, you know, $549 for the last month. And if you pay it by your due date, you don't have to pay any interest. Um, so that's the difference between the close date and the due date. And it's important to know that close date um, because you have to either meet your minimum spend before that or after that within your three-month period, depending on if you're going for a pass this year or next year. Um, the easy way to do it is to make sure that you don't meet your minimum spend until after January 1st, um, because that's for sure means the points are going to credit to your account next year. But again, you have to have make sure that you also meet it within the three-month restriction. So you can see this definitely is a little bit challenging, but it's well worth the effort to have a pass in hand in January, ready to go. Um, because if you had a pass that let's say expired at the end of 2022, there may be a couple week period in there where you don't have a pass. And so um, if you can get one in hand as quickly as possible, then you can be off to the races, traveling wherever you wanna go next year. Now, if you're not gonna be traveling anywhere, like say until April, of next year, you don't need to be in so much of a hurry um, about getting your pass. You just want to have it in hand. I mean, as early as you can in the year, um, but definitely before your April trip. The earlier you can have it, the better, because that's going to hold a spot for your companion. 
And as this year has played out, we're seeing flights very, very full. So sometimes if you don't add your companion to a flight, the flight will fill up and there won't be a spot for your companion by the time you earn it. And we do have some solutions to that that we teach inside the membership too um, that can help make sure that your companion does have a seat. So that are the broad strokes of how you need to plan earning a companion pass for next year and the reasons why there is a benefit to getting started on it now so that you can have that pass for almost two full years. Because you have to remember, the longer you have the pass, the more you are going to save because the more trips you're going to be able to take with that companion. And I value a companion pass at over $8,000 for my family because the average round trip in the U.S., and this is pre-pandemic, it's much higher now, I think, um, was $350. So you basically are going to multiply $350 times however many trips you're going to take with that companion over the life of that pass. And so for my family, you know, we're probably going to take about 12 or so trips with that companion. And then you factor in also the cost of savings of everyone else in your family flying on points um, because you can use those 125,000 points that you earned to get that pass. You can use those to book everyone else in your family who's not your companion, including yourself. And so there's a value to those points as well. And let me address one more common question that I get about the Southwest Companion Pass a lot. And that is once I earn points that do qualify for the Companion Pass, can I use them? Or do I have to wait until I have all my 125,000 points before I can use those points to book free flights? And the answer is you can use those points as soon as you earn them. It's just important that they qualify. As long as they qualify, that's noted in your Southwest account. You can see that by logging into your account and clicking on my account. It'll tell you how many points you have earned this year toward Companion Pass. Um, but once they qualify, you can go ahead and use them to book anyone on free flights. You don't lose their qualification for Companion Pass. So I hope that helps explain a little bit the benefit of earning a companion pass early in a year, but knowing that it might actually make sense for your family to get a companion pass this year if you could use it to book a flight before year's end and save the cost of that companion's airfare in uh, points or dollars. So if you would like help going through this, this is what Families Fly Free is designed to do. That's why I created it so that I and my team can work directly with people. I can't work directly with every single person who listens to the podcast or is on my email list. Um, there would not be enough hours in the day. So this is a way you can work with us directly and we can make sure that you are doing it right and that you're not making any mistakes. And you know, these days I'm very hesitant to recommend cards to anyone. Like I'll have someone ask me on YouTube or um, on Facebook, you know, should they get this card or that card? And I don't know until we really look at your situation. I can't make a great recommendation until I know what cards you already have. Maybe you don't have any. I need to know what your travel goals are. I need to know how many people are flying with you. And then when we look at all that in total at you specifically, then we can say, oh, yes, for you, you need to do this first and then this and this. You know, we can tell you the order, which cards we think you need to get, if you need to get a companion pass this year or next. And that's how you get on a simple system to always be able to do this. So if you like the idea of someone telling you exactly what to do every step of the way, and then having someone to ask any questions that you have, plus the full support of hundreds of other families who are going through this with you, you're going to love Families Fly Free. So um, come join before October begins so that you can get in on my live class if you think that you're a candidate to get a companion pass for early 2023 that lasts all the way through 2024 and then learn how you can always have one going forward. So um, if you want to learn more about Families Fly Free, you can check out familiesflyfree.com slash join. And we would love to have you come join us. We would love to help get your 
your family off to the races flying free forever. Have a great week. If you're ready to fly your family free forever, I invite you to join my family's Fly Free membership. You'll learn how to stop paying for airfare throughout the U.S., Caribbean, and Europe so you can make those priceless family travel memories before your kids or even your grandkids leave home for good. And you'll learn it using my simple, proven formula that's helped hundreds of families. Plus, it's risk-free. You either get your investment in the membership back in free travel, or I give you your money back. You can get more information at FamiliesFlyFree.com slash join.